Hey peeps, I'm Mahia. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be talking about how married couples can keep their marriages alive. If you're interested to know more about this, stay tuned. Joining me for today's conversation is the lovely couple Henry and Dorothy Issa who have been married for 29 years. They have two sons, one is 27 years and the other one is 24 years. I asked Henry and Dorothy to share with me one thing that they love about each other and this is what they had to say. Henry said he loves Dorothy because she always has his back very very important here and then Dorothy said she loves Henry because he is supportive of all her endeavors whether crazy or not <laughs> nice Henry and Dorothy thank you so much for creating the time for this important conversation uh, it's really lovely to have you guys hi Aman peeps and it's really a, an honor for us to be on your show and yes we are excited about this whole program today you're welcome <laughs> awesome thanks a lot for that uh, so yeah i'm just gonna jump straight to my first question uh, i'm really excited to interview you guys uh, i understand you guys have been married for for some time and it's just awesome to have uh you know married couples that have been married for a while so what would you guys say are the top three things which helps you uh to keep your marriage alive uh, <laughs> that is my question okay so what um look I first want to put a disclaimer out there. We are not a perfect couple at all. Uh, we are trying <laughs> because the pressure, the pressure is mounting. We are trying um, very hard, you know, to make it work and, and still trying after yeah. for 29 years. We are still trying to make it work. But firstly, it is respect, mutual yeah. respect for one another. Obviously, unconditional love, because if there's no unconditional love, you know, um, you might just wake up one morning and see, oh, my word, this is not what I signed up for. Yeah, no that's mysteries. true. <laughs> <laughs> Different. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, man, um, it is just being able to be yourself. You know, that, that for me is, is really important in this relationship. Yeah, so that, that yeah, yes. If I can just chip in, um, I think it's putting the other person first. That, to me, is one of the most important things. That yeah. you that you think of the other person more than what you think about yourself. Wow. That 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 helps. Yeah. So so it also links to the reasons why you got married in the first place, right? So if you have your reasons right, it will be very easy yeah. to. To really keep your marriages alive from your answers i can really gather that the reasons why you're into it in the first place matter because that contributes to keeping your marriages alive right correct correct uh, do you want to know why i married him why i chose him <laughs> why not i mean i would like to know that because <laughs> why not you guys have been married for i mean I, I'm, I'm not gonna say how old i am but okay it's almost my age <laughs> You were born on, I think you were born on that day. <laughs> I think I was born on the day you guys were married. <laughs> yeah, no, I, you know what is important to me, and I think that is what, the, there's a golden thread throughout our lives and our relationships, is the communication. Yeah. I, you know, when I was young, I always said I want, I want somebody that I can relate to, that I can chat with, have a conversation with, that can laugh you know, with me and even at me, you know, we laugh at each other. Yeah. Um, so that, that for me was important. Obviously his voice, his deep voice was really what has told me. <laughs> Love that. So you got attracted to the voice as well. That's <laughs> it. That's it. So I hope it's not going to let me down. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. Let me just, let me just keep it real. A, I want to, I, I am going to be the voice of reason. <laughs> she was quite she was quite popular Aww. so with with my my understanding was if i don't jump into the game now 
I'm going to lose this girl. So I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't have a, a big philosophical idea of why I wanted it. I just knew. Jump oh. into the game, buddy. Otherwise, you're going to lose out. So, yeah. That, well, that, it God. helps. If, yeah. No, it helps, it helps to have, um, obviously, the physical attraction is important. Mm. Uh, but what I found is that uh, mental and uh, emotional um, stimulation is also very, very important. That you yeah. that you can speak to somebody, you can communicate to somebody, because you're going to have off days. You're yeah. going to have a time when you, when you're not at your best, mm. and you want somebody in your corner that can that can steady you, that that can just ground you and bring you back to to who you really are. Uh, and, absolutely. And you know, that is what I found in her. Wow, you guys are like you guys are like a perfect match. You like the perfect match. Uh, yeah, so I'm so glad I invited you to come and share all the secrets because I I have <laughs> doubt that a lot of couples and anybody considering getting married will benefit from this if they are to watch this video. So I would like to know from you, uh, Dorothy, what does uh, Henry has to do in order for you to say, you know what, Henry? I'm out of here. I'm divorcing you. I want to file for divorce. What does he have to do? What is, do you have something that he has to do? You know, I want to know. <laughs> you know, right from the start, and I mean, we, we didn't have a pro problem-free relationship throughout the, the, the many years that we've been together. But one thing that we always said was divorce is not an option. No. Um, and yes, I think he made it easier for me not to give me reason to want to, you know, e ever um, consider that. Mm. Um, so, and I think that is the essence of a relationship, you know, that you can make mistakes and that mm. you can come back to a safe space um, and a soft landing, have yeah? that soft landing where there's somebody who would understand that you have made a mistake and that you, you're back. Mm. And I think also... It, it, it is the love at the end of the day that brings you back. You know that um, we are we are a Christian couple, and so we believe that love covers a multitude of sins. You know, yeah. so I think I think the love is what what carries us through yeah. even the darkest yeah. times of our lives. Wow. wow. I think I think divorce was never an option for us. Um, just from a personal point of view, I'm coming from. Uh, a divorced family. My my mom and dad got divorced when I was very young, oh. so I knew that that is not what I want. Mm. Um, I, I um, and and when we when we got into the relationship, um, I said to Dorothy, "Listen, if there's one thing that's off the table, if you if you do this, you're in mm. for life." Um, yeah. And so that that was that that also makes it quite mm. safe for you to be yourself. Yeah. But not to abuse, not to abuse that privilege that you have of knowing that you've got a, a no backup, uh, back mm. out rule. Yeah. That is the rule. But within that safety, you you have to be responsible. You need to mm. you know, need to show regard for your partner. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. So so from what I'm getting from you guys is that you know it is. It is normal in a relationship, in a marriage, to have problems. We can't run away from problems. We can't run away from disagreements. It's normal. But then when those problems come, they should know that we are more powerful than them. And so we're going to hold strong no matter what, because divorce is not our option. So no matter what comes, you hold yourself. You're going to do whatever it takes to solve the problems together so that you don't have to go to their divorce uh, case. Uh, wow, that is that is inspiring. How I wish all couples, all, all married couples can have that mentality because it's really in the mind and that commitment you have, it's just amazing. Wow, thanks a lot for, for sharing that. Um, yeah, I, 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 you know, we know that uh, well, research also shows that um, a number of issues that uh, couples are facing uh, it's really because of financial problems and that this also elevates the conflicts within the marriage. Uh, so what do you guys do to ensure that um, financial issues or money, so to say, does not uh, lead to, to conflicts in your marriage? How do you manage your finances 
how do you deal with it in 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 a marriage do you maybe do 50 50 i don't know i just want to know what what do you guys do how how does it work to 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 you're still happy <laughs> you see the thing with with money problems is it's only a problem if you don't have enough mm. that is when it becomes a problem <laughs> so if if you had enough money and your husband had enough money i don't think money would really be a problem so uh, one one has to understand that it stems from not having enough and then not being accountable obviously you you don't want a partner um that just goes and splurges up you know he just spends recklessly although this there, there might be enough money but you want a level of accountability as well in, in, in our in our case uh we have gone through phases where i was the primary breadwinner um and then there was a phase when when dorothy was the primary breadwinner mm. and so money is not a thing for us uh mm. if 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 i can be quite honest and quite blunt with you we respect what money can do but money um once we once we make a commitment very this is is normally much better at at finances than me so i found over the over the years that if if i give her access to my bank account it it is just it's fine things work out i sleep peacefully any man will tell you don't bother me with questions about don't don't fuss me with money yeah um so it is when when there's enough money Mm. and there's one of you that that is responsible or both of you mm. that are responsible with the finances then let let it work like that don't don't make it don't make finances a thing because there is mm. no one uh, sort of one rule for every family that's um that's, yeah. yeah so, so sorry yes. but if i can just and i just it's in me yes i also think that um you were talking about financial problems If, if it does come to the to the point where you know you you are pressurized mm. um i think it 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 takes a lot of understanding in the first place and um moving away from blaming you know because that is easy it's easy for me to say yeah but you made the choice that we must buy the house you made you bought yeah. this car so that is why we are in this situation so um it's almost with everything every decision every consequence that we need to move back and say you know what we are in this together yeah. let's see yeah. what we can do let's 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 find out if there are solutions to and and it all boils down to communication That's in the true. wow so 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 from what i'm getting from this is that it is important for both couples to be willing to sit down and really agree on what works best for them in terms of their finances because like henry said you know every family has their own different dynamics as far as finances are concerned and so just that willingness from both ends to, to talk about it and how we can manage it better it's it's the way to go so yeah that that's really good to know that that's that's amazing that's that's a very powerful a uh, tip right there uh, i mean wow <laughs> just the communication is key this is what i'm getting um uh, uh, there is just direct this to you uh what does what does a wife you're you're a wife so i'm sure you you would know and i'm sure you've done this that's why henry still with you now 29 years <laughs> what what does a wife has to do to ensure that um her husband is fully assured that she is the only person who is committed uh to him and that um she will do all that she can to prioritize him. <laughs> That's a difficult to answer. Okay, number 1 it is not the looks. It's not it's really there there is a physical like I said there's a physical attraction but your looks won't keep him. Yeah. Your um your education won't keep him. um the food that you make won't keep him there's a saying that um a man's the way to a man's heart is i don't i don't even cook you know i cook one so we i cook he cooks he and huli are my best friends <laughs> sorry for the advertising <laughs> but yeah um you know what ama for me everybody has their love language mm 
And it's important that you find out what is the love language of my partner. What does he want from me and what does he want to give freely to me? And like he said, for him, um, and I'm, yes, I'm still, I'm still learning to get there, is to put the other one first, you know. <laughs> so he's excellent at that. He serves me. He takes over the household, you know, when, when I can't or when I don't want to. So, um, so that is for me, it is very important that you understand what makes the other person ticks. Yeah. You understand yeah. what he wants and that we are sensitive to each other's needs. So there's no, there's no magic wand. There's no um, formula. magic wand. Yeah. Yes, yeah. for everybody. Yeah. It's, it's not a one size fits all. Mm. So for us it is, um, and, and it changes from day to day. How I feel today um, might be, you know, I'm a bit moody and then I, I, I would love for him to understand um, it's not about him, you know, I'm not angry at him or I'm not moody at him, just but that he understands. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that yeah, you he just understands. need your space. You just need your space. Yeah. yeah. And I think the, the, the big thing is not to take things personally. Right. Um, as a, as for me, and this is something that, um, and, and it's maybe uh, a bit counterintuitive to say that there is, um, there isn't, and although we're on a couple's uh, talk, mm. there isn't what we are doing is, is necessarily going to work for somebody else. Um, so mm. I, need, I need to just tell people that sit down, take the time to sit down and discuss yeah. and communicate yeah. because it's, it's almost like starting a business. Right. I, I, I equate it to starting a business. And so like with every business, you need to, Say that these are the, the risk factors. Mm. These this is this is our financial plan. This is how we gonna communicate. This is how we're gonna raise the kids. This is what, what we stand for. So in 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 our relationship, we said that education is important. So we we said to all our kids, both both our sons, that the first degree is on us and you have no choice in that. You can decide on what you, what you want to study, whether it is uh, painting or art or music or yeah. whatever, but you're going to study something yeah. because yeah. we want to make sure that you've got education that you can fall back on. Mm. So it's, it's those kind of things and you need to decide what is important. What are those yeah. non-negotiable for the two of you. Yeah. And based on that, you build, you build your little family that is your, your business, yeah. which is really your family and your relationship. Yeah. So that is how I see it. Yeah. Well, from what I'm getting from both of you, it, it's that there needs to be that time where two people as a couple, of course, sit down and, and, and just discuss and find out from what they prefer, but then match what they prefer as individuals to being a team because you guys are now a team. Yes. Now my question is, when do you do that? Do you, do you now go back before you even get married? Because from what I'm getting, it's like you guys knew each other quite a lot. I'm not sure, but I want to find out. Did you find out, you know, these things before even getting married? Is that why maybe they say you take time to know him or her before you marry him or her? Where, is, where do you do all those things? I think, I think that is a very, very important question. For us, we have um, been, we, we dated for four years. And in the fourth year, at the end of the fourth year, we got married. So we got to learn um, who the other one is. Yeah. But you know, when, when most of the learning took place was when we got married, because that's a different dynamic. Yeah. That's a different dynamic because he came to visit at our house. We didn't yeah. live together. Yeah, so he true. came to visit. And so my father was, he, he came to visit my father, by the way. <laughs> Not me. <Wow. laughs> yes, he was my You're father. Henry is <laughs> so lucky. <laughs> we were like this. That's wow. something to the guys. Yes, yes. Get in with a dad in work. <laughs> So you know, the document because it's not always the case, you know. There we go. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that is actually the first, I would say the first 10 to 15 years of our marriage yeah. were 
the worst. You know, in terms of your, why don't you, yeah, why don't you, you don't understand me yet, why? And I, I, I've explained this, but really that is how long it actually takes for you actually to become one. So you don't really become one on that first day. You know, that, that is, a, I think it's a physical thing, a oneness. But as the years go by, that is when you start learning because now you see socks laying there, or my <laughs> socks <laughs> laying there. It's things that I didn't experience before. You know, yeah. got married. So I would say, um, once again, there's no, there's no magic wand. There's no silver bullet. Mm -hmm. or, but we have learned along the way. It's and it's also trial and error. When we started out, one of the the, the most important things that I think I learned from this whole experience mm. is that there mm. are no guarantees. <laughs> and that, and, and I, I actually, you can ask him, I ask him many times, are you sure there's no guarantees? You know, I want, I want the guarantee of something. And he insisted. Yeah, he kept on telling me there are no guarantees. And I said, no guarantees that you will cheat on me, no guarantees that we will be together for life. No. And he said no, and, and it was it was quite um, an eye opener for me, mm. and something that I had to live with. You know that there are no guarantees. We're just gonna have to make this thing work. Work, yeah. Um, and and so yeah, that is that is it. Um, I think from my side. Yeah, another thing that that we do is we we have an annual what we call a breakaway. We 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 break away every year. Uh, as a family, and we discuss. Each one comes up with his own plan for the next year, and the other we we four in the family. So the other the other three, yes. So the other three support you. The the other three must just back you in the way that you want to be backed. So it, it is it's important that you allow somebody space. Mm. Uh, to say what is what is important to her, and then play a supportive role. Yeah, I I like the part where you find time to just go away and break away from the normal, yeah. you know, from the house or from yes. your normal, your daily lives. That is important. I think it adds on to the things that you mentioned on the first question. You know, answering what are the things that married couple needs to. To, to consider or to do in order to keep their marriages alive. And I think that breakaway is very, very essential. Yeah, thanks a lot for sharing that. Um, yes, Dorothy. I just wanted to say, you know, you know what it's like? We do it around about the 1st, 2nd of January. Mm. Um, it's almost like also vision costing. So you say what you want from, um, expect from yourself mm. and the family. So we, we, we do the personal and family planning. But then there's also a period where we, maybe after six months in, in um, June, where we go back and we say, okay, what have I achieved from these goals or from my vision for the year? Am I where I'm supposed to be or do I need to go back to the drawing board? So, yes, it, it's a very, very important aspect of our lives, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I can listen to you the whole the whole day. You guys are amazing. You are truly amazing. I want to know from you. I'm sure you have any any just any words just in, in, in closing words of encouragement to those who are considering to get married or, or any marriage couples out there. What words of inspiration do you have for them? Um, so firstly, I would say respect, respect, respect goes a very long way. Mm. Um, but first, be friends. That is very important. Ask yourself, would I want to be this guy's friend if we weren't getting married? And uh, if the answer uh, is no, then, you know, because you're going gonna, it's, it's, you're gonna to be together for, for forever. Yes. You know, you're going to wake up with a person, you're going to sit at, at times, you're just going to think, really? And, and be <laughs> you know? with them and watch their imperfections. <laughs> yes, all of that. Did you think, no, I don't think so. But yes, um, that is really very, very important. Be friends. Mm. Be, each, be accountable. Um, have, have, or take somebody that you can be accountable to. 
You know, yeah. like Henry said, we, there, there's a responsibility also that comes yeah. with the freedom yeah. of trust and respect and all those things. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah um, Henry, do you have anything to say? I think. Yeah, I think the, the big thing is for people to, if you love one another, mm. and there's, like Dorothy said, there, there are some of the key ingredients. Do it. Mm. Do it. So, Marriage is the most wonderful thing that you can that you can do. Right. Do it, do it, do it. Don't be scared off. Yeah. A lot of people will tell you that it doesn't work. You you look at the statistics, uh, you will see that fifty percent of everybody getting married, or a hundred or fifty percent of everybody getting married gets divorced. Um, and and it's it's scary when you look at it like that. But mm. think of yourself as the 50% that will make it work. Yes. Um, and, yes. and it's the best thing that you can ever do. Right. And especially, especially yeah. if it's for the right reasons. And I think what is important also, Anna, is that yeah. um, we deal with our stuff. We deal with our stuff, you know, mm -hmm. that we come in as a whole person, that you don't come and look for my other half. You know, we complete one another. We 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 um we are there for one another. Yeah. But come, yes, come in yeah. as a whole person, not being so needy that you can't operate as an individual. Oh my word! And I think oh that word. is super important. Oh my word! Oh my word! I am lost for words right now, Dorothy, because that is very critical. Now that is when people start saying they got married for wrong reasons. So when you get married because you want something, you need something, mm -hmm. you can't get yep. yourself. That's where trauma yep. starts. And I am so glad you brought that up. Oh my word. That I cannot emphasize the importance of that point. Henry and, and Dorothy, you guys are amazing. I must say, you are out of this world. You are like the perfect couple. You know, nobody is perfect. And like you indicated yes. earlier that you are still learning. You are, you know, you are not the perfect couple, but what other word can I use? To me, <laughs> awesome. and um, I, I wish people can learn from this, you know, because like, like Henry said, marriage is beautiful. You just need to get into it with the right reasons and then all shall right. be well, and also be willing to communicate because I think that came out quite a lot there. So thanks for, for joining me. I, I really, really appreciate your time and your willingness to, to make a difference, um, you know, in, in married people's lives. Thank you, Thank you so, so much, much for having us and entrusting this huge responsibility to us. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. And you're amazing. You, you are. You are absolutely amazing. You are absolutely you. amazing. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, I love that. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs>